Today I'm going to share with you a dressing rule that every woman needs to know and it will absolutely apply to you. When you can understand simple fashion rules, it makes a huge difference to how you put together an outfit and you can base it all around your body shape and your body size. So today we're going to talk about how the eye sees lines and there's lines in all of our outfits and all of our clothes. Those lines determine how a garment's going to look on your body. So you may have a very angular straight body or a curvy body or somewhere completely in the middle and the lines on your garment make your body look great or they make your body look out of proportion. So I'm going to show you a chart here of the different lines that we see in fashion. And you'll see horizontal lines, vertical lines, diagonals either way, and curved lines. All these lines mean a different thing and our eye interprets them in a different way. So I'm going to start off with the horizontal line because the horizontal line is the slowest line that appears in your clothes and that's where the eye is going to go first. So a horizontal line you can imagine like the horizon and when we see the horizon it makes us feel balanced because that line makes us know where we are in relation to that horizon. And it's the same with your clothes. When we see a horizontal line on an outfit the eye draws there and then it works out where it is from that point. So if you've got different lines on an outfit and a horizontal line the eye is going to go to the horizontal line first. So when we wear a horizontal line at the smallest part of our body, a line across like this, the eye is going to go straight there and you'll be accentuating the best part of your body. So that small waist, for example, or a small wrist with a horizontal line across here. So you'll see in these photos, when your eye goes to them, it's going to go straight to the a cross line first and we use this to our advantage when we're dressing. You can either have a wide horizontal line or a narrow horizontal line. But here's the thing, if you wear a wide horizontal line in an area that's already big on your body, it's going to make it look bigger because it's going to stretch it out. The trick with dressing, the rule for fashion is that you put your horizontal lines on the parts of your body that are smaller and that you want to make look bigger. You don't place a horizontal line on an area that's too big on your body. So if you're a pear shape for example and a smaller up top you can use a wide horizontal line on the top of you and to bring your shoulders out and that will give you width and depth. It's a really great trick but if you're a pear shape and you wear your horizontal line around your hips it's going to make your hips look a lot bigger than what they are and same as if you're an apple and you wear horizontal lines across your tummy it's going to make your tummy look a lot bigger and and you don't want to do that. Horizontal lines are slow so our eyes hone in on them and get a feeling of balance. The opposite is the case for a vertical line. So a vertical line is going to go straight down, your eye is going to go fast. It's a fast line and because of that it makes us look taller and slimmer. So if you're wearing vertical lines on your body, you're going to look a lot taller than what you are. And you can use this to your advantage in different ways. For example, if you have short legs and a shorter waist, you can wear stripes, vertical stripes on the bottom half of you to elongate that bottom half of you. And if you're shorter up the top here, you can use vertical lines to make that part of you look taller and slimmer. And the best use of lines for an example like this is to cut it off at the smallest part of your body with a horizontal line. So either that be an actual line, a thick line, or a belt, a horizontal belt, or a waistband. So anything that's going to draw your eye to that center part of your body, which is the smallest part, is really going to set off the whole outfit to look in proportion and perfect for your body. And the next kind of line to be aware of is a diagonal line. And a diagonal line is either this way or this way. And our eye reads from left to right, this way, points up to your face or points upwards and this one left to right is pointing downwards. We're going to point down to the bottom half of our body and this is a really great trick because you're either going to bring attention to your face or you're going to take attention away from your face and your shoulders going down this way 
with a left to a right going downwards. And this is really great for minimizing a bust if you want to take the eye downwards. And it cuts you in half so it takes away the bulk. Anything that you're going to have on your outfit that's going to direct your eye either down or up. So this is a really great tip for you to know when you're trying to work out how to best enhance your assets. And a curved line adds volume and softness. And because of the curve in the line, our eyes like to stay there for a long time because our eyes like to work out what's happening. It's like the eye is following the curve. And for that reason, it's a very feminine look. So frills are curves and floral patterns and curvy patterns and puffy sleeves are curves and ruching on the neck. Anything that's not a linear line, which is straight, is going to be a curve and you'll just know that that's going to add volume to you. So if you are very round and just wear all curves, you're going to look more voluminous. So it's a fine line between having curve and the structure of the lines to create harmony in an outfit. And a less obvious way of having lines and structure in an outfit is through pockets and zippers and distressing in jeans. So all of these things are lined. So if you have horizontal pockets on your jeans at the widest part of your legs, it's going to make you look wider. If you've got distressing on your jeans where the widest part of your leg is, it's going to make your legs look wider. So if you're going to have distressing in jeans and you want to look taller, you'd have it running down the front of your legs and you put the vertical stripe on areas that you want to make look longer, taller and slimmer. And if you're wearing a skirt with a panel like this, it's very slimming and lengthening as opposed to wearing a skirt like this with the lines going across ways, making you look wider. A skirt like that is perfect if you want to widen the bottom part of you. So for example, on a lady who's an apple shape, who's curved on top and very straight down the bottom, you can add volume to the bottom of you with a wide stripe. On a skirt or a pant, it looks beautiful. And if you feel like you're too skinny and you don't have enough weight on you, particularly around the bottom area, this is a really great trick for you to do. Widen that area with a thick stripe. It works every single time. In this example here, a horizontal stripe across the small part of the body widens it because this lady has a pear shape. So we're widening her shoulders and then the stripe down the sleeve is perfect to make her arms look long. So this is superb and the black in the body of the top is making her tummy disappear. So something like this, it's illusion dressing and it's on point because it's broadening and lengthening all in one outfit. When you're choosing swimwear, use this fashion rule because it makes a huge difference. So if you can have vertical lines going down your body in a dark color, or even if it's a white against a dark color, automatically the eye is going to draw downwards and it's going to go quick. And that's going to lengthen your torso. And just like in this example with a waistband that's white, we're stopping in, we're noticing that beautiful small part of her body. And on this other one, the curves under the bust and the lines going downwards, the vertical lines, it's just in harmony. It just makes her body look beautiful. And every outfit needs a pair of shoes to go with it and it's no different for shoes. Horizontal lines will widen your foot, particularly a thick horizontal line and vertical lines on a shoe are going to lengthen your foot. And that's all you need to know. If you want to look taller and slimmer, you add vertical lines to your footwear or you take the diagonal pointing down. So the eye is going down into a V. This will make your foot appear longer and it will give you height. So the worst thing we can wear if we're short is to wear a wide band going right across the broadness of your foot. And that's going to stretch your foot out to be wider and it's going to make you look shorter. So the perfect strap for you is a strap that's dragging the eye downwards and a diagonal strap like the one in this shoe, it cuts across the foot, directing the eye downwards. It's the illusion of the line and our eye is reading it as a narrowing, slimming line. I really hope you enjoyed learning about how the eye interprets lines in your clothing. 
Please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day. I